up you sorry bastards of the internet bp here <laughs> and yeah i've got a good show for you today and we're going to be looking at this guy right here oh my goodness so this says dude pays ten thousand dollars to meet a girl he follows on only fans all he got was a hug one month later that money is funding a trip for her and her actual boyfriend that she had the entire time <laughs> So she took a picture, posted it to her wall. She's like, I met my top fan for $10,000. <laughs> and there she is posing with him. And who knows, that could have been his entire life savings. That could have just been chump change for him. We don't really know, but we could all agree that $10,000 definitely is too much damn money just to get a hug, <laughs> okay? If I'm spending $10,000, I better be getting the entire package deal. Okay. I'm not spending that kind of money on a female. You got to be kidding me. But anyways, this is her real boyfriend right here. This is her dude. And yeah, they're out living life and they're saying, thank you so much. <laughs> She's like, we're going to go see the world together, babe. One vacay at a time. Hearts. <laughs> you dumbass. <laughs> What the heck? Let's see what people have to say. All right. This person says, bro paid $10,000 for some kitty. Jit tripping. You can get that shit for the free ski. <laughs> All right. He would have gotten more than a hug overseas for 10K. This guy says, I will pleasure myself with a photo of Whoopi Goldberg before I give a female money and OnlyFans. He <laughs> got that right. That deserved a freaking laugh emoji. Yeah, don't pay that kind of money, guys. That's freaking retarded. <laughs> so I've been married and divorced three times. And if I could say one thing about my experience, and I mean, you can take it or leave it, it's going to be this. Make sure that whoever you are dealing with, okay, whether it's, you know, somebody you're dating, long term, short term, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, or whatever, make sure that wherever they are at that moment, and by that moment, I mean, you know, if they don't lose any weight, if they don't get a better job, if they don't fix, you know, the childhood trauma, if they, you know, if they got a cat and you don't like cats, wherever they are at that moment, if you cannot deal with that, if you're thinking about, oh, well, if they change this and they change that, and, you know, over time, then we'll grow to be, mm -mm. If they don't change a thing, is that somebody that you want to commit yourself to? See, what a lot of us, women especially, what we do is we connect ourselves to the potential that we feel a person has. And that potential doesn't always pan out. Sometimes we see something in somebody else that they don't necessarily get to realize or that they even see in themselves. But you got to understand that you have to love people where they are. And if they're showing a bunch of red flags and a bunch of deal breakers now, you have to know that if you commit yourself to that person, you could potentially be dealing with that for the rest of your life. If you're talking about marriage or long term relationships. So ignore the potential. Just throw that shit away go ahead and take a look at where that person is right now. If that's somebody that you can see yourself with long-term until you leave this planet, then you commit to that person. But do not, do not, do not commit to somebody's potential because that that's, that's not something that exists. It doesn't exist. So I've been married. Oh my goodness. Gentlemen, as you can see here, Women are giving each other the absolute worst advice to each other. <laughs> they they think, oh, you know, if he leaves his socks on the floor, if he leaves the toilet seat up, if he doesn't listen to you when you nag at him and all this other bullshit, then you need to leave him, girl. And it's like, are you are you crazy? <laughs> right? Like, do, do you not understand what you're telling people? You're telling people to leave based on your feelings like forget yeah forget about forget about your vows forget about in sickness and in health and to until death do us part and like honoring those vows and honoring your family and 
No, it's just if you feel bad, if you have a bad day, if he won't get a better job and all this other bullshit. Yeah. Yeah, girl, you leave. Yeah, don't settle. And it's like, dude, I don't think women really truly understand the concept that this is what they go for. OK, they, I'm going to show you exactly what they go for. All right. People like this. All handsome, got money, got power. OK, influence. Yeah, it looks nice. That's great. But do you want to know the reality? Do you want to know what a real man looks like your average man? Average man. This is what he looks like making 40K a year. That's it. He's not going to get a better job. He's not going to get a promotion. He's just going to continue day after day after day, making that money, bringing home the bacon, making love to his wife and raising his kids. But that's not good enough. Oh, no, that's not good enough because they want more. They want more than just the simple life. They got to have the fast cars. They got to have the private jets. They got to have bragging rights. See, Women, women have all of these expectations and they have all of these requirements, but what do they bring to the table? What do they have that we need as men? How about some love and support? How about just being there when we need you the most? Okay, because men aren't the ones leaving their wives in their marriages. Women are. They're leaving in droves. What are men doing? They're staying home. They're doing exactly what this guy's doing right here. Just working, working, making money, cracking jokes with his buddies at work, going to church on Sundays, being responsible. OK, ladies, you can expect that the average man will likely work on a forklift driving for Sam's Club for the rest of his life until he's dead. OK, that is how men are not not that other stuff not that rich and powerful stuff okay you want that you're 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 setting yourself up for failure okay most men do not make the kind of money that you would like 500,000 a million dollars a year it doesn't happen all right and if you're not okay with average if you're not okay with a simple life well then maybe you need to be single maybe you don't deserve someone okay let's move on by the way look, before we get into this these are these are women who actually admit they regret the life they lived so we hear a lot of women being told not to settle i would definitely tell the men do not settle um i i want to apologize for believing this lie that i can have it all that i don't need a man that children are a burden that my career is more important than anything that my bank account um, can replace a person being a husband for me i'm so sorry that i was this feminist that media movies songs uh, influencers were convincing me that I can do everything by myself and that being feminine and vulnerable was the wrong thing to do. And um, that I can choose to be masculine when it's a role that I don't want, I'm not qualified for, and therefore I cannot tell men what to do. So I just wanna apologize for my part in it, for believing all this BS. And um, hopefully, you know, we'll, we'll do more healing on our end, women, because uh, we're gonna bear these children. So we need to get it together. And if I have a boy, and I have that mentality, like I would never want to convince my son that he has to, you know, downplay his masculinity to make a woman feel comfortable. Not okay. So I'm just so sorry. Yeah. Um, I know that just from everything that I see, it just seems so discouraging right now to be a man and to have like accusations just flung at you um, in every direction in the media. But I feel like there are a lot of us women that are starting to wake up to this and we're starting to see through the lies of the media. We're smart. 
and we're, we're catching on. This is not going to be a forever thing, I believe, um, where men are, you know, really thrown away so much. Um, so there are a lot of women who are starting to understand what's going on and we're leaving this feminist movement, me included. Um, and I believe that, uh, you know, you just have to just believe that if you're looking for a woman who's understanding as, and he's, who's not going to emasculate you, we are out there and there are a lot of us. You just like, um, like Alana was saying, don't settle just because you think they're not out there and that you can't find someone who's going to give you the respect that you deserve. Um, yeah. So we fellas remember this women are single by choice men are single by circumstance nobody gives a shit about you but your mother and god that is it okay if your father cared about you in life you're lucky you're lucky to have a dad okay but notice here there there is a panel here we're looking at a panel of 10 women who are saying dang i messed up I, I believe the, the the bullshit that I can be strong and independent and all this stuff, and I don't need a man. And it was a it was a lie. It was a lie. See, this is why family is so important. And, and fellas, if you find yourself in a circumstance where you want a family, you want a family. All right, you want to get married, you want to have kids. Okay, let me just tell you this. You want a wife, you want to get married, have a girlfriend. Have somebody you, you don't cohabitate with unless absolutely necessary. Do not live with a woman. Okay, you want a wife, you, you want to get married, have a girlfriend. If she's it, it, most, a lot of women are going to be okay with, with put, being put in the relationship zone. Okay, and you could typically replace them if they want more. So there's no shortage of women in the world. There'll be another one in five minutes. Okay. So if you want a wife, get her a ring and say, we're married. You don't need to cohabitate. You don't need legal documentation. If you want children, you should probably adopt. There's lots of fatherless children out here in this world. A lot of orphan children who need single fathers. Single fathers are getting approved for adoption all over this country. Thousands of men. Thousands of men are getting approved for adoption. There is no reason why you should be alone in life as a guy. But I understand it's not always your fault. It's not always the man's fault because guess what? Like I said, women are single by choice. Men are, men are single by circumstance. It's not always our choice that we're single. And even God said it's not good that the man should be alone. So you need each other essentially and that's what the, the, that brings me to this last video so let's go ahead and take a look at this this is for the black man i'm a nurse assistant at a hospital i work on a stroke floor and i can't help but notice there's a lot of black men up there nice looking good job having all kind of stuff good looking men and a lot of them have a stroke and can't move their left or right side and end up, I ask them, where's your wife, you know? And all, most of them say, hey, I was a player, you know, I didn't never, you know, want to get locked down to anybody, you know? And and they're sitting up there in their 40s, even got no wife, they depending on a stranger to wipe their ass and get them up in the chair. And then they're going to go to a nursing home, don't have nobody to take care of them, come visit them or nothing. What I'm saying is, Black men need to wise up. You got a woman that love you, that's loyal to you, that take care of you, that got your back. Marry that woman. Hey, everyone, I got a message. All right. I don't think this is exclusively for black men. This is for every man. If you're a player, if you're the type of guy that gets women, you need someone that's got your back. You need someone, all right, that's going to take you to doctor's appointments, that's going to help clean the house that's going to play the role of a wife okay and that's not always easy to get that's not always easy to get but keep playing around find out what happens when you get later up in life and you got nobody to take care of you you burned all your bridges you've you've screwed people over now nobody wants to deal with you don't let that be you 
do not burn your bridges. You know what that means when you burn a bridge? That means you can't get back over to where you needed to go originally. It means you can't get back to your place of origin. You're stuck in a place that you don't want to be. Don't be that guy. Be the guy that's dependable. Be the guy that that has a good woman in his in his corner. And that's not always easy. But we want to go for the fine woman, the good looking woman. All right. Versus the woman that that actually has some value to her. Someone that actually brings something to the table. Somebody that's more than just a piece of ass. You can get a piece of ass anywhere. You want to see where you can get a piece of ass? Watch this. You can go here and get ass all day. 50 bucks, 100 bucks. But that's not going to make you happy. That's that's not what it's all about. These women, you pay them to leave, not to give you some. You pay them to leave because they're a freaking headache. They come with problems. But this is the woman you need to be going for, this type of woman. Somebody that loves you. Anyways, that's all I have for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed this this video. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Take care.